Every day, we turn on our tap, we expect clean, safe, reliable drinking water. The average person uses 100 gallons of water each day. But many people don't know how drinking water and wastewater systems are linked. Wastewater systems process sewage and discharge clean water to rivers. In many places, those same bodies of water are sources of our drinking water. Today, the infrastructure that keeps them working is in bad shape. As we look at our older cities in, in America, their systems were put in, you know, say around the turn of the 20th century. And so we're seeing, you know, breaks in water lines that we have to repair, facilities that are starting to wear out. Seven billion gallons of water are lost every day due to leaks from old pipes, treatment plants, and sewer systems. A new report from the American Society of Civil Engineers shows that failing to make new investments in water infrastructure also hurts the economy. We need to invest additionally if we want to maintain this quality of life, keep the number of jobs we have, keep the success of our companies. Aging water systems will strap businesses with an additional $15 billion in costs each year and cause them to shed half a million jobs by 2020. Saving water at the tap is one way to help, but the report found that closing the federal funding gap is the only way to ensure the clean, safe water systems that we all take for granted. For NBC News, I'm Gary Stryker.